parish priest once i preached in my parish that jesus christ is not god for me god was only allah and i believe allah never married so no son for allah so i preached there that jesus is not god then somebody asked me who is jesus from the crowd maybe a muslim but he asked me who is jesus i was preaching he is not god but the question who is he to know who is he i read the entire quran once again 114 chapters 6666 verses in quran when i read it the name of prophet muhammad i found in quran four places but the name of jesus i found 25 places there itself i was little confused why quran giving more like i said he um he claimed that um uh, he was uh, an imam and he was giving a special masjid a place of worship for the muslims to take care of and so as he was the imam of that masjid uh one day you know somebody asked him uh, uh who was jesus and um he said jesus is a messenger of god jesus is one of the mighty messengers of god he was a prophet uh, he was sent to bani israel um and then the person asked him again so who was god or who is god and uh uh somehow the person uh alluded to the fact that maybe that Jesus uh did a lot of creation himself and he did so many wonderful things he walked on water he did miracle and so far none of the messengers that came to earth have done that and so based on that injunction uh, he was god and so uh, uh that indian priest he said at that time i decided i'm going to study the quran even further is very uh, cynical i mean how could this man who claimed to be uh, an islamic scholar who studied fiqh Nahaw, Mantik, Balaga, Arab, Hadith, and he speak Arab very well, according to him. All of a sudden, he's been reading the Quran all of his life because you've got to be an Iman, giving a whole masjid. You should know exactly who Jesus is and how the Muslim look up to who Jesus actually is in the Islamic uh, community. So he said he went and, um, and he uh, studied the Quran again. I don't understand that part. To know who Jesus was, he studied the Quran again. And in doing that particular study of the Quran, who Jesus is, he realized that uh, the Quran mentioned Jesus 25 times. And Muhammad is actually mentioned uh, four times. And the word Ahmed, referring to Muhammad, is mentioned one time. So it means Muhammad is mentioned five times, as opposed to, um, you know, uh, Jesus Christ was mentioned 25 times. From that angle, he deduced that uh, Jesus Christ is greater than Muhammad for the simple fact that he's mentioned 25 times in the Quran, Muhammad is mentioned five times. But uh, what he refused uh, to, or he didn't understand, see, I don't believe from the beginning that he was an Imam. Absolutely not. I don't even believe that he was given a masjid to take care of, to be the Imam of the masjid. I don't believe that. I don't also believe that uh, uh, when he was asked who was Jesus, then he had to go back to the Quran again. An Imam who speak Arabic very well, know about the seerah of all the prophets, he should give an answer to it. But he said at that time, he went back again and researched the Quran and reread the Quran from cover to cover, he said. And then he realized that Jesus Christ mentioned 25 times. So from that angle, he said, okay, well, then uh, Muhammad five times, Jesus Christ 25 times, he, you know, so Muhammad might be, uh, Jesus might be greater than Muhammad, according to him. Because he was, so, well, if that is the argument he's trying to make for the fact that Muhammad is mentioned five times, Jesus Christ mentioned 25 times, Jesus definitely is greater than Muhammad. That's what he said. Forgetting that Moses is mentioned over 118 times in the Quran. So in this case, is Moses greater than all the prophets because he's mentioned more than almost all of the prophets? Is he greater than them all? See, we don't think like that. Okay, and then again, um, uh, Satan is mentioned more than Jesus Christ. It's mentioned many times, about 95 times in the Quran. Does it mean Satan is greater than Jesus Christ for the simple fact that he's mentioned more than Jesus Christ who was mentioned 25 times? We don't think like that, Mr. Mr. I don't know his name, that priest. You know what I'm talking about. And so uh, we don't look at that uh, mention of the name and stuff like that and to say uh, uh, John the Baptist is mentioned more. Isaiah, Jeremiah, this prophet were mentioned more some of them mentioned more than jesus does it mean that jesus is lower than them how what what kind of criteria is that you know what are you talking about so now we understand from the simple fact that 
The reason why Jesus Christ is mentioned more than Muhammad in the Quran is simple. We know when Muhammad was born. We know who his mother was. We know who his father was. We know who his uncle was. We know the kind of love that he led before he was commissioned to become the messenger of Allah to preach for the whole of mankind. In the case of Muhammad, the Quran simply said, وَمَا مُحَمَّدْ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ حَلَتْ مِنْ قَبُلُ الرُّسُلٌ Muhammad is no more than a messenger of Allah. Many were the messengers that passed before him. مَا كَانَ مُحَمَّدٍ أَبَا أَحَدٍ مِنْ رِجَالُكُمْ وَلَكِنْ رَسُولُ اللَّهُ وَخَاتِمَ النَّبِئِينَ Muhammad is not a father of any of your men, but he is a messenger of Allah in the last of the Prophet. So Muhammad is mostly called the messenger of Allah, the Prophet of Allah, the slave of Allah. That is his appellation. That is Muhammad. And so that's what we believe all the prophets were. None of them is below or above the name that Allah has given them. Messengers and prophets sent to guide mankind. But in the case of Jesus, after he left the earth, there was a lot of, there's still a lot of confusion about his personality. Was he God? Was he son of God? Is he trying God? Was he God man? Did he became a man and then he gave up that Godhead and then he became a God? When he became a God, then what happened to him being a man? So, okay, if he is a man, then he's supposed to be born by a human. Okay, Mary gave birth to Jesus Christ. Okay, now she is the mother of God. Then all of a sudden, who created Mary? So this is a lot of confusion. Some said he's dead. Some said he didn't die. Some said he, he just passed out and he unconsciously he came back again. Some said he was on the cross, but he didn't die. Some said he was on the cross and died. And then, so there is a lot of confusion about Jesus Christ than about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa There is no confusion at all about Muhammad. So God Almighty go out of his way to explain to us Man Masiku Isa Bud Maryam Rasulullah Kat Hadat Min Kabulu Rusul wa Umuku Siddika most certainly Jesus Christ is no more the messenger of God. Many were the messengers that came before him and his mother was a righteous and godly woman. Jesus Christ is being mentioned a lot in the Quran to showcase who he actually was as he walked the earth because there's a lot of confusion around his name. Muhammad, he doesn't have sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There is no confusion about who Muhammad was. And so therefore, it is absolutely clear to everybody, just like any other prophet. But after Jesus, there's so many confusion. At the time that Jesus Christ walked the earth, the first century Christian, they believe he is a messenger of God, a mighty one, but not God. Later, theology begins to develop after him. He could be a God because... He doesn't have a mother, I mean a father. He was born miraculously. Maybe his father is God. This and that. So they, they begin to develop theology about Jesus Christ being the son of God. And on and on and on. Trying God. And he was this and that. And there's so many confusion. That is why when the Quran came, the Quran began to expound who Jesus Christ actually was. As he walked the earth. Let us see. Ya Habib Allah. When I read chapter 3 verses, 45 to 55 verses, there are 10 points which Quran makes about Jesus. The first thing Quran says Kalimatullah, the Arabic word which means word of God. And the second thing Ruhullah which means spirit of God. And the third is Isal Masih which means Jesus Christ. So Quran gives the name for Jesus, word of God, spirit of God, Jesus Christ. And so he says something about Kalimatullah. Kalimatullah. Jesus is the word of Allah. Kalimatullah. You know, it's very sad. This man is claiming that he is uh, an Arab speaker, an imam. He have a whole masjid to take care of. And he study mountain and balaga and Arabic. And you couldn't, you know, Jesus referring in the Quran as Kalimatullah. He said, the Quran said, Jesus is the word of Allah. Kalimatullah doesn't mean the word of Allah, the word from Allah. Yes, <laughs> I don't know why you're saying that. Oh, are you saying that to score, score some? That's a cheap point, man. It's a cheap point. You're scoring a point to your Christian, you know, uh, people. They say, "Oh man, he knows exactly what he's talking about, right?" Is that why, why you say that? Why did you mistranslate the word kalimat Allah? It doesn't mean the word of Allah. The word from Allah. 
fa iza kada amran fa inna ma yaqulu lahu kun fa yakun if allah al arak if allah will something he just say to it be and it becomes exactly that's what allah used that word in the quran you know inna masala isa inna allah kama sali adam halakahu min turabin thumma qala lahu kun fa yakun the similitude of jesus christ is that of the adam he said unto him be and he was when allah you know uh, uh, with the dust of adam to be created when allah done allah said be and he become kun fa yakun jesus kind of same thing kun fa yakun and he became jesus christ in the womb of his mother the same word was used to john the baptist as kalimatullah again the word from allah not the word of allah why are you saying the word of the word of allah not from allah is from allah my friend go back and learn your arabic i don't know where which which masjid did you preach in i don't know i want to know that masjid and do you speak arabic for real no even the basic arabic you know steady person could understand that kalimatullah doesn't mean the word of allah it means the word from allah kalimatullah the word from allah the quran is the word again we can use the quran is kalimatullah the word that come from allah make it the quran you know what i'm saying the same thing applies to the spirit from allah not the spirit of allah the quran used the spirit from allah it is from allah that the spirit left and it became whatever allah will it to be that is kun fayakun like in the book of genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning god created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and god said let let there be light the word let there be led is the word ah uh, from allah that word came and god will it and it became light but it is not god who became the light it is the word from god why are you mistranslating the word scoring points with your christian brethren i don't know why you would lie claiming that you know arabic language very well so let's have a talk and then he mentioned that Jesus Christ is the only Messiah. He looked in the Quran. There is not a single person giving that title Messiah in the Quran. So the fact that he was giving the Messiah, you know, like Messiah, he's the Messiah, he is God. Nobody have the name Messiah. What is the meaning of Messiah? Messiah, simply innocent word in the Hebrew language means to select, to anoint, to appoint. It's a simple word. All messengers were selected were anointed and were given a special job to perform messiah in masih most certainly the messiah he was selected and anointed in the house of israel number one to be the last prophet and messenger sent from the house of israel preparing a way for the noble messenger to come after him who will be sent for the whole of mankind so the word messiah simply means to anoint to appoint he was appointed he was anointed who appointed abraham so Abraham was the Messiah also. But that title is specific for Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Who is Khalilullah? Who is Khalilullah? Khalilullah in Arabic means the friend of Allah. Who is it? Ask any Muslim. He will say, Ibrahim. How about Jesus? <laughs> Is he a friend of Allah? Yes. Muhammad, friend of Allah? Yes. Isaiah, all of them were friend of Allah. But that title is specific for Ibrahim, being Khalilullah. The same thing that Messiah is a special title for Jesus Christ, but all of them are Messiah. Who is Kalamullah? Ask any basic Muslim. Who is Kalamullah? They will say, Musa or Moses is the Kalamullah. What is that supposed to mean? The, you know, uh, the one that Allah spoke with. Didn't God spoke to Abraham? Didn't he speak to uh, Muhammad? Didn't God spoke to Jesus Christ? He speak to all of them. So that particular word is akin to be given to Musa, Kalamullah. But they are all Kalamullah. So the Messiah is not exclusive that he is the Messiah. Nobody knows. They are all Messiah. But it's a title applicable to him alone. Just like being, you know, Kalamullah, a title being given to Moses. Again, ask the Muslim brethren, any Muslim, the weakest amongst them all, who is Rasulullah? Ask any Muslim, who is Rasulullah? He will say, Muhammad. What is Rasulullah? The messenger of Allah. Isn't Moses the messenger of Allah? Yes, Abraham, Noah, Jesus, all of them messengers of Allah. But that title is specific for Muhammad, Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
So if, if, if he's Messiah, doesn't make him so special Messiah. You know how they call it, the Messiah. Like some kind of a God. No, uh, all of them were Messiah. They should go and do some more research, man. I don't believe that, uh, you know, uh, you are an imam. I don't believe that at all. Because imams don't speak like that. And those who specialize on their Bible, reading deep into it, they don't even talk like that. So I don't know why you speak like that. يا حبيب الله يا رسول الله. He spoke when he was very small, like two days old after his birth. He began to speak. Quran says that Jesus created a live bird with mud. He took some mud, formed a bird, when he breathed it into it, became a live bird. So I think that he can give life. He give life to a mud clay. And then Quran says that Jesus cured a man born blind and a man with leukoderma, leprosy, etc. Continuously Quran says that Jesus give life to dead people. Jesus went to heaven, he is still alive and he will come again. When I saw all these things in Quran, my thinking was what the Quran says about uh, Muhammad. You know, according to Quran, Prophet Muhammad is not the word of God, not the spirit of God, never spoke when he was two days old, never created any bird with mud never cured any sick people, never raised any dead people, he himself died and according to Islam he is not alive and he will not come back. So there is a lot of difference between these two prophets. I, I, I don't call Jesus as God, you know, my idea was he's a prophet but he's a prophet greater than Muhammad. The guy said, you know, that pastor or that priest from India, he was being interviewed by a woman. I know you know that video was running all over town. He did miracle and Muhammad didn't do any miracle. You forgot that a lot of prophets did so many miracles. The miracle of Moses is even greater out of a vegetable kingdom. He make it to become what? Out of vegetable, which is a snake. It, he make it to become animal kingdom. Become a snake. Swallowed all the snakes in the house of Pharaoh and then back again to vegetable kingdom. That is a miracle indeed. An outstanding miracle by Moses. With that stick, Moses parted the Red Sea and the sea was open. They passed through it. Isn't that a miracle? Uh, Daniel was thrown into the den of lion. The lion didn't eat him. That is a greater miracle. Joshua, he looked to the heaven when the Israelites were fighting a, 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 some nation. J Joshua prayed to God Almighty to let the sun to stay for 24 hours. The sun dial didn't move an inch for 24 hours. And he was able to fight, I think, the Amalekites. Or the Jebusan, I don't know, I forgot the, the, the Israelites were fighting then. 24 hours, the sun didn't move. Did he do it? Ask him who does that. Joshua, he did that. God gave him the power to do it. So miracle is nothing. So Jesus said, For there shall arise many false prophets and false Christ, who will show you many great wonders and signs. If possible, they will deceive my elected disciple. I think it's Matthew 24, 24, where Jesus said, for there shall arise many false prophets and false Christ. Today we see many false prophets and false Christ doing wonders in place of worship. Wonders. Are they God then? So miracle is not a test. Miracle of Jesus is it doesn't belong to him. Ask him. But before we ask Jesus Christ, let's ask Peter, the leader of the disciple of Jesus Christ. What did uh, uh, Peter say? This can be found in the book of Acts of the Apostle, Acts 22 verse 2. 2.22, right. Act of the Apostle. What happened there? You asked Peter. Simon, Peter, the rock. He said, ye men of Israel, hear this word. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, a man, not a God, a man approved by God amongst you with wonders and miracles and signs which God did upon him. The other Bible says, which God did by him. A man amongst you, oh Jerusalem, oh Israelites, which God did the miracle upon him. Chosen by God with wonders and miracles and signs which God did unto him. He didn't do it. So miracle is nothing. David Copperfield, he did so many miracles. If he lived at the time of Jesus, people would worship him as a God. Right? There is this guy, something Blaine, George, George Blaine or Blaine or something. He walk around New York City. He traveled all over the world. And he, he even walked on water. River Thames in London. He walked on water. At the time, look, if he lived at the time of Jesus, people will worship him as a God. 
So miracle is nothing. The only miracle is without any miracle, you transform nations. That is what Muhammad did. Which miracle are you saying? Okay, forget about the physical miracle. See how Muhammad transformed nations. Nations solving the problem that is eating deep in the fiber of societies all over the world. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So which miracle are you talking about? Ask him. John chapter 5 verse 30. What happened? Jesus said, I can of my own self do nothing. The way I hear, I judge. And my judgment is good because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Did you hear that? Hello? The will of the Father who sent me. So if I send you, who are you? A messenger. We send messengers. That's what the Quran said. For over 1,400 years, in the Masih, Isa ibn Maryam, Rasulullah. Most certainly, Jesus Christ, the son of Mary, is a messenger of God. He said that in Matthew 5.30. Whom you send, I can of my own self do nothing. I can. I can do nothing. John 14.28. Jesus said, my father is greater than I. My father is greater than all. If you believe in me, it is not me that you believe. It is the father, him who sent me. It is him that you believe because I'm doing the bit of my father. What are you talking about? He's doing miracle. Which miracle are you talking about? So that guy, that, 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 that Indian priest, whoever he was, that claimed that he used to be a Muslim imam, but now he, uh, he became a Christian based on the fact that Christ was mentioned 25 times more than Muhammad. Subhanallah. That is so weak. This is, this is you know, uh, uh, insipid. So very insipid. That argument does not have a stand, a leg to stand upon. So the miracle is absolutely nothing. Because of, by virtue of miracle, as Jesus Christ. It is so many miracles. The genius amongst you will say, okay, Mr. Muhammad uh, uh Lazarus died. He died completely. The soul is out of his body. Giving up the ghosts. According to you, in the book of John chapter 11, the whole John 11 is talking about Jesus Christ and Lazarus. What happened to that? He raised Lazarus from the dead. So that makes him a God, according to you. Well, I know. It is God Almighty's prerogative to raise someone who died. No human being will be able to raise anyone from the dead. But you keep telling me in the podium, Christ rose him, uh, uh, he, you know, he brought back Lazarus from the dead. By virtue of that, that priest from India, he's saying that Jesus Christ is God. Because nobody does that. He even said that Jesus Christ, he made a bird with a clay and he blew into you know uh, the bird and the bird became alive and he you know and and and, and you know and he just fly away who does that who 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 gave anything to life if not god so he could be a god you forgot the book of uh, uh act of the quoted when uh, peter said uh, 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 god did all the miracle and signed by him where matthew 5 30 jesus said i cannot do it it is god who gave me the power to do all this and what i'm doing i can of my own self do nothing Except God gave it to me. So whatever he does, we believe it that but as a miracle given the permission by God Almighty. In the Quran used that be is in the law that Jesus Christ, he raised the dead. Be is in the law by the permission of God Almighty. He made the people to, uh, he tell the people what they ate in their house. Be is in the law by the power of Allah. He did whatever he did as a miracle that we behold in our eye. The Quran said, be is in Allah by the power of Allah. And Jesus corroborated what the Quran have said by saying, I can of my own self do nothing except what God asked me to do. So whatever he do it as a miracle, he didn't do it on his own. Moses did the miracle. Why don't you say Moses is God because he parted the Red Sea? Who, who gave it to him? All the miracles belong to God. So Jesus even said, I've quoted that, for there shall arise many false prophets and false Christ who will show you many great wonders. So miracle is nothing at all. <laughs>
Lord of God. So I found it both is very similar. And I was happy to know that I need Quran and I need Bible both. You know, I was in a mood like one day become Christian, one day Muslim, one day Christian, you know, I, I need both. While I was thinking like that, again, one more word I heard that was John chapter 1 verse 12. Such a lovely word for me because it's written in Bible, if anyone accept Jesus, Jesus will give them power to become children of God. In all the verses of the Quran, Allah calls the human being slaves and Allah is master. Master cannot love the slave, slave cannot love the master. I don't like to be called by someone a slave. Quran says you are my slave. But when I heard John chapter 1 verse 12, it says, if you believe in Jesus, Jesus will give you power to become children of God. So immediately I said, I need Jesus because I want to be a child of God. There I began to call my God daddy. Till then I never knew that I can call God daddy. You know, Jesus taught the prayer in Aramaic language, Abun Doshmayo, our God who art in heaven, Abun he called. In Arabic language, Abun means our dad. You know, and if you ask me, I cannot express my joy whenever I call my dad, you know, whenever I call God dad. And whenever I think that the creator of the universe is my dad, I have a kind of joy which I cannot express. It's beyond my, you know, experience cannot explain. Only you can understand by experience. So I really love to call my God. John chapter 1 verse 1. John 1 1. To prove that Jesus Christ is indeed God. And it began by saying, In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word became God and dwelt amongst us. That's Jesus Christ. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. The word became flesh. So Jesus Christ became flesh and dwelt amongst us. So he was talking about the, from the very beginning was the word. And I'm saying that is a wrong statement to make about God Almighty. How can the word exist without it being spoken? Words cannot exist without it being spoken. Someone might have spoken the word for it to exist. My word can never exist unless I speak it out. Unless it's been spoken for it to exist, they are in my video, on my, on my, on my, on Facebook. Those are my words. They exist in there because I spoke them. So God have to have spoken the word for it to exist, because word cannot exist by 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 themselves. Who spoke the word? God. So how is it that in the beginning was the word? No, that's a wrong statement. In the beginning was God Almighty who spoke the word for the word to exist. The word is the kun for your kun. Become star, the moon, stars, heaven, earth, plant. This, these are the word of God. God, it manifested from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The word that came from God Almighty. So that is a very unbelievable misconception about God Almighty. And then he also said that he enjoyed the Bible because the, in the Quran, God refers to us human beings as the slaves of God. We are the slaves of God. But the Bible is, is talking about you know, I don't know if you know the Bible very well. This is not a time. You know, I want a debate from you. Let's have a debate. Then I'm going to explain to you the word slave in your book. This is not the occasion. I'm in a hurry to get through, to sift through what you just said. Try to give, you know, uh, a, 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 you know, basic answer to it until if you agree to debate me, that will be beautiful. Take any continent on the face of the earth. You want to debate, I'm, I'm going to be there. Inshallah. So now he's talking about the Quran said, uh, we the human beings are slaves of God Almighty. But in the Bible, he said, we are the sons of God Almighty. These are the son, we are the son or the children of God Almighty. And he began to quote some quotation, you know, in the book of Genesis, chapter 4, verse 22, where God said, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. You know, the word son in, 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 in Islam is eschew. Because the, child, the son, children, are, uh, are doing a lot of things that is not good. Just like the word, uh, the word gay. It's a beautiful word. Look at that in dictionary. Beautiful. It means happy and joyous, oozing with goodness and this and that. That is gay. It's a beautiful word. It's happy and gay and joyous. But today, the words have taken another turn to a different meaning. So if you are, oh, yo, he's happy and gay. Somebody's going to get angry. Oh, are you happy and gay? He's going to get angry at you. But innocently from the beginning, the word is good. But the word have been turned into a very distasteful word. So in Islam, we eschew those words. 
like the word communism. In communism, the word comrade. Look at dictionary. It means friend, right? It's a very innocent word. It's my comrade. It's my pal. It's my friend. That's what it means. Give you different meaning of, you know, comrade. But today, if you live in America and all, oh man, what's up, comrade? How you doing, man? It's been a long time I'm speaking to you. What's going on? Let's just hang around a little bit, comrade. Wallahi, if you keep saying this word on your telephone, FBI might be at your doorstep any minute because the word comrade have been turned into be a communist type of word that, you know, in America, we don't accept that. Even though from the very beginning, the etymology of the word is very innocently used. So you see how words do change. The same thing applies to uh, a father. The moment you see the word father, you know, it gives you a connotation of uh, someone, even though he doesn't have a wife, but it gives you an idea. Because not all of us think the same. People would think, okay, God have a son. He may have a wife. Maybe there's a wife up there. Jesus Christ, the son of God. No. In the book of Genesis, God has so many sons. In the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter, chapter, chapter uh, I think, 91 verse 4 or or 31 verse 9, it's a, God have so many sons. In the book of John chapter 1 verse 12, God have so many sons. In the book of many, 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 the book of Chronicle, you know, uh, Solomon is the son of God. Yeah, in so many places. So that's that, that physical. But in Islam, we eschew those words. 99 attributes of God Almighty in Islam with the crowning name Allah to make 100. Never one to be called Abba. You know, Rabb. And Abba. Which one is easy? Abba is easy. Rab. Abba. Rab. It's harder to mention. Rab. You know, Abba. But not a single word in the Quran referring to God, the word Abba. Easy. No. It's been in Allah gave it the word Rab, the Lord, our cherisher and sustainer. So now. He said he preferred the word son. The Bible used that, that there's a relationship between God Almighty and Allah. Which relationship do you have with God Almighty? He's your creator. He's your creator. The slave of Allah. It is a humble name. To humble yourself is a humbling name. The messenger said, do not over praise me. Just like the people of Jesus Christ over praise him. They call him uh, the, uh, 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 the word of God, you know, the man of God, you know, the rabbi. They call him teacher. They call him Lord. They call him son of God. Now they blow it up. They call him a God, God Almighty. So the moment you begin to elevate his name, Muhammad said, call me by the name or the appellation that God has given me. I'm the messenger of God, prophet of God, and the slave of God. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? That is what the Joseph guy said. That is why he said. So he said, um, Jesus, he said, uh, um, he made the. I'm sorry. Ya Habib Allah, ya Continuously, Quran says that Jesus gave life to dead people. Jesus went to heaven, he is still alive, and he will come again. When I saw all these things in Quran, my thinking was what the Quran says about uh, Muhammad, people, he himself died and according to Islam he is not alive and he will not come back. So there is a lot of difference between these two prophets. I, I, I don't call Jesus as God, you know, my idea was he's a prophet, but he's a prophet greater than Muhammad. The other argument he raised was Jesus Christ is coming back, Muhammad is not coming back, Moses is not coming back, Isaiah is not coming back. All of them, none is coming back. <coughs> Excuse me. None of them is coming back. So Jesus Christ is coming back. Muhammad is not coming back. That makes him a God. Why? Because you say he died. He conquered death and he came back to life. So if he come back to life again, is he going to die again? If he die again, that means God have died twice again. The Bible said, it is ordained for all mankind to die once, and the next is resurrection. So Jesus Christ is dead according to you. The Muslims say, no, they did not kill him, they did not crucify him. Then, the, then the, 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 that Indian guy, he said, Jesus Christ said in the Quran chapter 3, he even quoted the verse that Jesus uh, said, uh, he said, you see, Jesus Christ, uh, peace be upon me, the day I was born, the day that I died, and the day that I will rise up again. It sounds like that is the truth, but the, he mutilated the English, I mean the Arabic language. I don't understand if 
He was lying when he said he knew the Arabic. Wassalamu alayya yawma walidu. Yes. Peace be upon me the day I was born. Jesus said that. Wa yawma amutu. And the day that I die in the future. He was speaking about the future. Not the day that I died. And he said the day that I died. How can someone who died. <laughs> he said that the day that I die again. Wa yawma ubasuhayya. The day that I will rise up again. The correct translation is. The day that I die. Not that the day that I died. He didn't die. Do you speak Arabic? The day that I die. Not died. He was speaking about his future. Telling them in Israel, peace be upon me. The day that I was born, yes, I got peace. And he was speaking the day that I die also. In the future, I will have peace. And the day that I will rise up again. That is the clear translation. I don't know why you are mutilating the language. You um, you say you're on the... Look, man, I want to debate you. Man, this is a... Look, I'm serious, man. I want to debate you. You could find me. If I know how I'm going to find you, I will do that. But go find me. Write me a letter. Send a text. Something. Let's meet. I don't know where you are. India... You were in continental, you know, South South Asia, wherever you are. You were in England, you were in Germany, you were in France, you were in America. Wherever you are, I'm going to come in a heartbeat. So we will debate that openly. Let the people decide. You're not going to hide them behind some woman asking you questions and you giving answers and that's it. That's why it's good to think. Use your God-given bodily sense and mental powers to process each and every information. So Jesus coming back doesn't make him a God. The fact that he's coming back is a proof that he didn't die. So if you look at the Quranic history or the Quranic chronography about him, the person of Jesus Christ, it makes a lot of sense. He's coming back because he didn't die. He's going to leave and maybe get married or something and then he's going to die. And then it will be resurrection. That's what we believe. It's just simple, rational, straightforward, unambiguous statement. Which you mutilate it and you kind of make it, you demystifying it. You are not saying the truth. You are lying to the Quran, lying to the history of Islam.